What's up guys, today I'm going to go through how to do this background offset effect. So here's my raw video clip and the first thing I'm going to do is copy and paste this video clip. I'm going to hold down alt on my keyboard and then just click and drag this video clip up. And then on the top layer of the video clip, I'm going to go to the effects tab and go to masks. And I'm just going to add the draw mask effect on this and then draw around the outline of the car. So once I've added all the points around the car, I'm going to select them all and then right click and go to smooth. So this will just smooth out all of the lines. And then I'm going to go up to the draw mask parameters up here. And I'm just going to go down to transform and click the keyframe button on position, rotation, scale, and also control points. And then I'm going to go through the video clip and just move this mask and make sure it's around the car during the whole video clip and because there's not much movement on this video clip it's quite easy to track the mask if you wanted to move a portion of the mask then you can select some of the points and you, you can move them all together which makes it a lot easier to create this mask and because this is a fast effect it doesn't have to be too accurate okay so once the mask is done then i'm going to copy and paste this top layer video clip and then on the middle video clip what I'm going to do is select it and go over to the effects and I'm going to search for the offset effect and I'm just going to add this onto the middle video clip if you don't have this effect I'll leave it linked in the description so if I go over to the parameters we have these sliders and if I move these then you can see that it changes the offset of the video so to get this effect what I'm going to do is keyframe this offset so I'm going to go to the start of the video clip, set this to, I'm going to set this to minus 1000, hit the keyframe button, and then I'm going to go to the end and I'm just going to add another keyframe. And depending on how, how much you change this keyframe, it will change the speed of the effect. So if I play this back, it's going pretty quick. If I turn it down, you can make the effect a lot slower. And then I'm going to add some blur to this as well. So I'm going to select the video clip, go over to the effects tab, go to blur and add the directional blur effect onto this. So this will add a blur effect to the offset effect. And then from here, you can also add more effects. So if I add an adjustment layer, so I'm going to bring on an, an adjustment layer over this and I'm going to add a shake effect. So by adding the adjustment layer and adding effects to the adjustment layer, it's going to affect all of the video clips underneath. And then I'm going to add a custom LUT effect. And I'm just going to use one of my presets from my preset pack. I'll leave the link to it in the description. And I'll use this to add the base color grade and then also go to the color board up here. And I'm just going to add a color curves. Just add some contrast to this. And then I'm also going to add a glow effect. And then I might also add another glow effect to the offset background effect. And I'm going to use a hologram effect that I used in my previous video. It gives it this cool like glow hologram effect to give it a bit of a sci-fi look. So yeah, here's a before and after. I think this effect turned out pretty cool and it's actually pretty easy to do once you understand how to create the layers and add the masks. I'll leave the link to this video clip in the description so you can download it and try this out for yourself because I know some people really like it when I do that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.